What's up Splitboarders? I'm Dan with Spark R&D and I'm here to introduce you to and show you how to install our new Spark crossbar clips for the 1819 season. Before we begin, let's look at compatibility. Crossbar clips come in two versions to fit any board. Our standard crossbar clips are designed for all two-piece split boards with holes drilled through the mounting points, which we'll be using in this video. With these boards, you can see the screw heads at the base of your board. Our top mount crossbar clips are also available for all two-piece split boards that have inserts rather than holes at the mounting points. You can check out our website or YouTube channel for a separate top mount crossbar clips installation video. Now that it's time for installation, this video will be following along with the instructions included in your crossbar clips package, beginning with the included parts and required tools. Beginning with setup step one, Remove all of your old clip hardware. Screws from your old clips cannot be used for spark crossbar clip installation. Remove the screws from the levers. Install both levers on the right side of your split board using the hole farthest from the board's inside edge. Follow along with the lever assembly diagram to ensure your lever parts are in the correct order before installation. These screws should be tight enough that the levers can be turned easily but have enough friction to stay in place. Rotate the levers towards the tail of your board out of the way of the remaining insert for step 3. Repeat the lever installation on the tail end of your split board. Remove the screws from the shear bushings. Install both shear bushings on the right side of your split board using the hole closest to the board's inside edge. If you need help tightening your shear bushing or lever, use a second spark tool or flathead screwdriver to hold the shear bushing or lever in place while you tighten. Repeat the shear bushing installation for the tail end of your split board. If your board was originally equipped with Bole split hooks, the mounting holes may not be deep enough for the included screws, which may stick out proud of the base. If this is the case, use a 3 8 inch or 10 millimeter drill bit to countersink the eight clip holes in your base. Turn the bit by hand, do not use a drill, and check the fit with the screws often. You will not need to remove much material. If you have a thinner board, the shear bushing screw may stick up, interfering with your lever fully going around into the locked position. In this case, use the included shorter M5 by 12 mm screws for the shear bushing installation instead. Remove the board attachment screw and twist tie from each crossbar and install both crossbars onto the left side of your split board. Follow along with the crossbar assembly diagram to ensure your crossbar parts are in the correct order before installation.
These screws should be tight enough that the crossbar can be turned and stowed away in tour mode with enough friction to stay in place. They should also be loose enough that the crossbar can be moved from ride to tour mode. The tightness of the crossbar is rider preference. If the crossbars rub and wear on your top sheet due to your board's profile, you can alternatively install them on the right side of your board, flipped 180 degrees, and the sheer bushings and lever would move to the left side. Contact us if you need help with the alternative setup method. Once all pieces are mounted to your split board, rotate the crossbars and levers counterclockwise to the open stop position. Slide the board halves together into ride mode. Rotate the lever into the locked position. If the lever feels too tight or too loose in the locked position, loosen the crossbar mounting screws on the bottom of your board. Then adjust the set screw in the crossbar a quarter turn at a time to fine tune the clamping tension. Once satisfied, retighten the crossbar mounting screws. Slide the board halves together into ride mode. Rotate the lever into the locked position. Unlock by rotating the lever counterclockwise. Slide the board halves apart. Rotate the crossbar into the stowed position. Once complete, double check that all levers, shear bushings, and crossbar mounting screws are tight. We're pretty stoked on our new crossbar clips, and we think split borders out there will be too. You'll be able to pick up crossbar clips at your local Spark dealer or at sparkrnd.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the skin track.